Well, men's facial hair can be attractive if it's done right. Maria is talking to Craig the barber to find out how men can achieve the look with less hassle. Maria? Fall is a great time to change up our looks, and it's not just for the ladies. Joining us now to tell us what's in style, as well as the latest grooming tips for guys, is CEO of Grooming Concierge, Craig the Barber. Welcome, Craig. Oh, thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Thank you so much for joining us. And tell us, what are the hot tips for facial hair with guys this season? Well, you know, facial hair is so popular this season, and it has a lot to do with the beard scruff and the full beard. A lot of guys are really adopting that type of look, and for several reasons. You know, one reason, it just maybe it looks good to them. It feels great. It's a low maintenance for a lot of guys. And also, a lot of guys that struggle with coarse and curly hair, they typically opt to wear the beard because they're worried about the irritation that's associated with shaving. So I'm here today to share with you three quick and easy tips to get a close and comfortable shave minus that irritation. Oh my goodness, and where do we start? How do we even navigate down, down that aisle? <laughs> yes, well, the, the, the one thing to keep in mind when you're navigating through the aisle is you have to have that laser-like focus. You have to really understand what, how your skin is reacting to certain types of tools and certain types of products. One tool in particular is the multi-blade razor. For a lot of guys, the multi-blade razor cuts the hair so short that it falls below the skin line, and the hair has a difficult time coming out of the skin, so that's why you get the ingrown hairs, the razor bumps, and also the razor burn. So that's one item that you really need to stay away from when it comes to navigating that grooming aisle. And how can those guys get that nice close shave that all us ladies love? Oh, the nice close shave. I'm a big fan of a nice close shave because I like to wear one as well as I like to give them. And it all starts with three quick and easy steps. The pre-shave, the shave, and the post-shave. The pre-shave step is basically the face wash that is designed to actually get rid of all the oil and dirt and prepare your face to optimize the cutting ability of the shaving tool. Immediately following, you trap the moisture onto the surface of the skin with a pre-shave oil. And following that, you use, an app, you use a shaving cream to actually create more moisture onto the surface of the skin and that cushion you need also to protect your skin from the shaver. Following, you have my favorite, the Philips & Relco Care Touch Shaver, which is designed with Aquatech technology. Uh, basically, you can use it wet or dry, and it has gentle cut heads that cuts the hair in a way where it's nice and gentle on the surface of the skin and also keeps the hair above the skin line, therefore drastically reducing ingrown hairs and other irritation. The next step is the aftershave balm, which is designed to quicken the healing process of the skin and moisturize the surface of the face. Those are three quick and easy steps with an, with an amazing tool that reduces ingrown hairs, razor burn, and razor bumps. Wow, and go over that one more time because I know what a pain in the neck those, those ingrown hairs are for my husband. So how can we avoid those again? Yes. Well, the one thing that you always have to keep in mind when you're dealing with razor bumps, especially those ingrown hairs, is just really understanding how your hair grows. When you keep your hair above the skin line, that's how you can reduce drastically any form of irritation when it's related to ingrown hairs. So the Phillips and Relco Care Touch has the gentle cut heads that cuts the hair close enough but keeps it above the skin line so that hair doesn't have the opportunity to curl underneath the skin and cause those ingrown hairs. And so immediately following that, you stick with an aftershave balm and you're ready to go. Wow, and where can we go to find out more information? You can go to phillips.com forward slash care touch. Oh, well Craig, Thank you so much for your time this morning. Well, thanks for having me. Stay where you are. There's a lot more Morning Blend after these messages when we return.